Find more questions and study at your own pace on our website. The link will be in the description. Let's get started. Question 1. You have an Azure Cognitive Search solution and a collection of handwritten letters stored as JPEG files. You plan to index the collection. The solution must ensure that queries can be performed on the contents of the letters. You need to create an indexer that has a skill set. Which skill should you include? Option A, image analysis. Option B, optical character recognition. Option C, key phrase extraction. Option D, document extraction. To index a collection of handwritten letters stored as JPEG files and ensure that queries can be performed on the contents, the critical skill required is optical character recognition. OCR technology is designed to recognize and extract text from image files, including handwritten text, converting it into machine-readable and searchable text. This process allows an indexer in Azure Cognitive Search to effectively index the textual contents of the handwritten letters. Question 2. You are building a conversational language understanding model. You need to enable active learning. What should you do? Option A. Add show all intents equals true to the prediction endpoint query. Option B. Enable speech priming. Option C. Add log equals true to the prediction endpoint query. Option D. Enable sentiment analysis. To enable active learning in a conversational language understanding model, you need to log user queries. This is done by adding log equals true to the prediction endpoint query. This allows the system to collect data on user interactions, which can then be used to improve the model over time by analyzing the logged queries and making necessary adjustments. Question 3. Your company wants to reduce how long it takes for employees to log receipts and expense reports. All the receipts are in English. You need to extract top-level information from the receipts such as the vendor and the transaction total. The solution must minimize development effort. Which is your service should you use? Option A, custom vision. Option B, personalizer. Option C, form recognizer. Option D, computer vision. Azure Form Recognizer is designed specifically for extracting information from forms and documents, such as receipts. It can easily extract top-level information, like the vendor and transaction total, which aligns with the requirements of reducing the time employees spend logging receipts. Additionally, it offers pre-built models that minimize development effort, making it the most suitable Azure service for this task. Question 4. You have an Azure OpenAI model named AI1. You are building a web app named App1 by using the Azure OpenAI SDK. You need to configure App1 to connect to AI1. What information must you provide? Option A, the endpoint, key, and model name. Option B, the deployment name, key, and model name. Option C, the deployment name, endpoint, and key. Option D, the endpoint, key, and model type. To connect to an Azure Open AI model using the Azure Open AI SDK, you need to provide the deployment name, endpoint, and key. The deployment name uniquely identifies the deployed model. The endpoint is the URL of the Azure Open AI resource, and the key is the API key for authentication. These three pieces of information are essential for establishing a connection between the web app and the AI model. Question 5. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure App Service app named App1. You provision a multi-service Azure Cognitive Services resource named CS Account 1. You need to configure App1 to access CS Account 1. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you use to configure App1? Option A, a system assigned managed identity and an X509 certificate. Option B, the endpoint URI and an OAuth token. Option C, the endpoint URI and a shared access signature token. Option D, the endpoint URI and subscription key. To configure App 1 in a way that minimizes administrative effort, you should use the endpoint URI and a subscription key. This approach allows seamless and secure communication between your Azure App Service app and the Azure Cognitive Services resource with minimal setup. The endpoint URI specifies the service location 
and the subscription key provides the necessary access credentials. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to check out our website where you can find more questions for this exam. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching and good luck on your exams.